for our next contest, and it's going to be a tag team match in the form one call, and it is for the ace tag team championship. We're going to do the match with Chris C. Toro. Tag team championship on the line, and there's actually a lot at stake in this match. It's the team that should not be ace tag team champions. Against the team that thinks that they were screwed out of the titles even though they lost them cleanly. I, d I don't think so, but here comes a team that will give the D or get the D or do something with the D. I call it dumb, dominant, and here comes defiance. The hell's up with the masks? Um, I don't know if you heard, but they hate that Jersey air. They're New Yorkers through and through. They think Jersey's full of scum and hairspray. Raymond Risk, Chris Caden, Defiance, defending the Ace Tag Team Championship against the team that had a one in that triple threat match back in April. The Movement. Last week we saw the Defiance successful when they went up against uh, Pokemon trainer Andy Lee Ray and Panda Man. And Raymond Risk, I dare say, for a guy that people say he's Chris Caden's sidekick, Risk showed his own. He pulled out some aerial maneuvers that were very risky, pun fully intended. Raymond Risk, the muscle of Chris Caden, the so-called brain, one of the smartest guys in the locker room. But he acts like a four-year-old when he gets out here and he doesn't get his way. Well, he's be he better get his way tonight. He better get things rolling. This is this for the ace tag team title? I, I want to I bring this up. Last week, Jamal Jackson did not come over and give us our kisses on the head for the match. And I had words with him about that. They were fully focused on that big six-man tag. And here comes Jamal Jackson. And the fat, nasty bastard, FNB. Here comes the movement. They want their belts back. They want them back. They want them in this venue at Decimal Greatness 2012. Held them for a year. Tonight is their night. Will they get it done? FNB is all kind of angry. Number one, he wants those belts back. But number two, they made him dance last week. He is overweight, ill-tempered, and lacking a father. <laughs> now you're just playing on his name. That's not nice. <laughs> but the movement... Is she ill-tempered? Oh. The movement want their belts back. That's all they've wanted. These men are angry. They're ready to get it done. And I think they're ready to fight. And Defiance is very intimidated, in my opinion. They outweigh the champions by at least combined 150 pounds. We're gonna take it up to the man child himself, Ryan Peterson, with a formal introduction for this ace tag team championship defense. They got the deal right. They look downright disgusted at the lack of respect they received. But when you wear stupid face masks out to cover the quote-unquote jersey air, you get everything you deserve. Yeah, Riz just told the man-child he forgot to add the undefeated tag team champions. That is indeed true. They have not lost the match. The, the history book will, will say that. And one fall to finish. This is Defiance's third ace tag team championship defense. 
as champions. Referee Chris Shady Torres collecting the paraphernalia, showing it over to the movement. Those beautiful ace tag team championship belts, the movement want it back. Who's starting this contest? The two muscle, the muscle, the brawn of each team. Raymond Risk and FMB are going to go here. Bell sounds, this tag title match is underway. Oh, Rick. Oh, oh. FMB wasting no time. That's a slap heard around the world right to the midsection. With those judo type strikes. Raymond Risk is going to definitely know how big FMB's hand is tomorrow morning. Well, we've seen Risk take shots before. And a chop from the chest by Thorsten Creed in Newark showed that. It's already. Oh, he was trying to get him up in a fireman. Oh, fast. That's the move that concussed too hot Steve Scott in this very venue. The way the movement lost their opportunity at the Ace Tag Team Chance. Chris Caden picked up the fall after the back fist. That was a that was a back fist that too hot Steve Scott was able to smell color. Oh man, what a shot from Raymond Risk using Chris Caden's big mouth as a distraction. Irish whip. Whoa! Wow, almost took his face off with that clothesline. And down, and down goes the FMB. It was a high rising clothesline. Smarter Raymond Risk, not going for the center of the man, but go for the top. Another Irish whip from Risk. Oh, reversal. FMB with the big. Oh, boot this! FMB is about 295, and he's punching the head of Raymond Risk. You know you're in some deep trouble. Oh! And Riss takes a second shot. What's one more? There's a cover. What a strike from FMB going for a pin attack. I'm amazed Raymond Riss kicked out of it. Hey, that numbed his that numbed his spine. It's gonna look it's gonna look like FMB was clapping with Raymond Riss in the middle. <laughs> Clap the gut. Why not? Double team now movement with the complex. Chris Caden's seen enough. Oh, oh. Okay, this is a family show. That is what we call a meeting of the minds. They got the D all right. <laughs> oh, and they just turned around and they got the punch. Oh, they got the D. I love it. Actually, I don't love it, but. Yeah, you seem into that sort of thing. Purely speculation. Caden now on the outside, Risk getting caught up on the middle rope, and Jamal Jackson now going to pick him. He's now the legal man. <laughs> Irish. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the unconventional crossbody from Jamal Jackson goes for the cover, only gets two. Jamal Jackson, for a bigger guy, he's about 245. He has a very underrated sense of agility. He can throw leg lariats out like nobody's business. You know it's got to be something when you're the smaller guy in your team and bigger than the guys who you're up against. Overhand chop to the pecs. Raymond, Raymond Rest is getting a chop party. Chops around the menu at this summer barbecue. Happy summer, by the way. It's the first day of summer. Absolutely. And the mercury is, in ri is indeed rising. It is sweltering here in the Wallington Knights of Columbus. Boot right to the mush of Raymond Risk. Jamal going up to the second. Sunset. Risk rolls through. Try to kick go right to the face great, of Jamal Jackson. Great counter from Risk. <laughs> off the Johnny B. Bad like flying sunset flip. Off the second by Jamal Jackson. Great counter wherewithal by Risk. That was a great reference there, Johnny B. Bad. 94 WCW, I know where it's at. And now Risk taking Jamal Jackson, has him up, trying to drag him to his side of town. I think he's trying to tag in Chris Caden. Jackson on the wrong corner. And got the shoulder, and Chris Caden takes his shoulder. And now the mental midget Caden with a running knee to the mush. Rising knee using his partner. But FMP just knocked Caden out. FMB frustrated, you know, FMB has been very frustrated over the past several months. All the downfalls he's had, he was an, remember this, a few months ago he was an inch away becoming Ace Heavyweight Champion. So he's burning with desire to win the Ace Tag Belt. Chris, Chris Caden finally back to his feet and he lays a stiff short kick right to the gut. And now Chris Caden, ever the opportunist, choking the life out of Jamal Jackson. Come on. Shady Torres, of course, not paying attention. 
Chris Kane not enduring himself to the ace nation. Yeah, he doesn't make a whole lot of fans around here. You know, this is again a totally different Chris Caden. You know, this time last year, we really saw the, the, the man change when he turned his back on his former partner at Quiet Ride, Hush Holiday. Oh, and there it is. The Vulcan neck pinch locked on in the center of the squared circle. Jamal Jackson and Nervold, he might have to tap it out. Those tiny bony fingers of Chris Caden just go right down into the trapezius. Chris Caton forcing everybody to catch up with what he's doing. There's a cover. Only two, says the referee. Chris Shady Torres. So. Jamal Jackson trying to get, get up, and Caton just dropping knees right to the heart. That, that big heart of Jamal Jackson. Dropping that elbow off the second cover. Right across the cranium. Chris Caden, the tiny little pest. A little peasant. You know what Chris Caden reminds me of? What? A chihuahua in heat. <laughs> You'll get Chris Caden. You want Chris Caden? You want the D, right? That's purely speculation. I was trying to impersonate the Taco Bell chihuahua. Meanwhile, the tag wrist coming back in, delivering club and blows right to the back of Jamal Jackson. Come on, you don't get the urge when you see Chris Caden to say Viva Gordita? Matchup continues, Raymond Risk with a European uppercut to the face of Jamal Jackson. Jackson. Jackson so badly wants to win the ace tag team titles, he's always felt in his mind he's the reason they lost it. Jackson looks a little bit, a little bit lost. He was, trying to, he was trying to climb up Risk. Risk just kind of nudged him straight down. Risk is thinking knee. Jackson thinking spine buster. Sit out spine buster by Jamal Jackson, Mikey D. And this is where the move will be to get into it. This could be the turning point of the match if Jamal Jackson can make that tag to FMB. <laughs> Why is Chris Caden shutting everybody down? Can Jackson get the corner? Can he make the tag? FMB wants it. He gets it. Here comes Caden on the other side. Oh. He gets a club for his troubles and a back elbow now from FMB. FMB with the sledge. The fat, nasty hammer. Measuring and picking him up that sidewalk, middle of the ring. Cover. Only two, says referee Chris Shady Torres. FMB getting fired up. He wants to get it done. Raymond, Raymond Risk and Jamal Jackson, they're just laying on the apron. Neither man, man able to get back to his feet yet. Meanwhile, in the ring, Caden delivering straight rights and a big discus elbow. Caden now holding the arms in a double chicken wing fashion. Risk. Oh, and a big corkscrew elbow right to his partner. Unbelievable. What a shot to the much. Risk might have just cost Caden an opportunity of finishing him off. Wait. FMB. FMB. Oh, referee's down. That's their coup de grace. Caden with a, with a, with a jaw jacker. He's got a pinfall attempt. And the referee's still out. Wait, the referee. What the? Who, who, who won this contest? What? Yeah! Movie left, won the belt. That's Danny saying it's the movement. Shady, Shady saying it's great. I am completely lost. We have new champions, I believe. Well, Sh Shady Torres, the referee for this match, he's saying. I didn't even see Shady. Shady was counting. I saw referee Danny count. Oh, well, now it comes down to who is the legal man. Well, there, there's the bastard son, Wait, Mike I believe, Jr. I believe. Hold on, hold on, I believe FMB and Caden were the legal men. They both had pinfall attempts. Oh, <laughs> Here comes the bastard son. Uh-oh. Look. Here comes the other 50%. Your champion. What? Hey, Mike. Junior saying that is the fight. Mike Morgan, he, he got 
50% of his company back from his kids. For eight months, you've been running a rabbit, and me and you have to have a conversation about that little stinking attitude that you got going around. I don't know if you want to do this out here, or if you want to go do it in the back. But either way, your ass is mine. First of all, I own 50 of this space. You own that 50. My 50 say they're not the tag champ. So we got a little, little ownership dispute here. I said, oh boy. My 50% says they're the tag champs. Yeah! Fans will like it might more than 50% better than juniors. We all know you're going to make them children, but my 50% says they're the tag team champs. I'm going to make a decision. My 50% says they're taking it. How's that? No, 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 no. What? 50% says they're taking it. How about that? So your 50 are vacant, mine 50 vacant. I keep that one, you keep that one. See you later. So, so there's, there's, no cha there's no champions? The Ace Tag Team Championships are vacant? What a strange turn of events and a stick hey, measuring. I want to nominate us to be the new tag team champion. Absolutely not. You're on your own. But we are in a serious state of affairs here. We don't have a, we don't have tag team champions. And, and then both teams in the ring are like disgusted right now.